In this After Effects tutorial, let's create a Kama Hamaha Energy Blast. Go to Composition, New Composition, and we're just going to choose the NTSC DB Widescreen Preset. And we're going to make the duration just uh, 5 seconds, not very long. So instead of 10 or 30, just 5 is long enough. Click OK. Going to right click uh, this bottom left corner here, New Solid. And <clears throat> the default here is usually gray. I'm just going to leave it alone. Click on OK. So we have a gray solid here. This is where we're going to create our blast. Going to click on this nice uh, ellipse tool. If you click and hold the rectangle tool, you'll get the ellipse tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag out a circle by clicking and dragging. Now, if you hold down Shift, you should get a nice circle. Now I'm going to press Control plus to zoom in. Control minus zooms out. All right. So what we're going to do to this circle, this is the this is the beginning of our energy blast. Is we're going to add some effects. Uh, one of them, what we can do is when you look at the mask here, there's a little drop-down box here. Hit the, hit the arrow. There's something called mask feather. So if I drag this, click and just scrub it, you can see it's feathering a bit. If you want to soften the energy ball, it's nice to know that you can feather a mask. Tickle, tickle, it's nice and soft. Okay, so let's uh, try changing the setting here called Glow. So let's see here. We're going to add a Glow effect. That's what we're going to do. We're going to add a Glow effect. So you type in Glow into the Effects and Preset search box. And we're going to double click on Stylize Glow. And you can see in the settings here, we're going to, uh, we can increase the, the glow radius, for example, or the glow, uh, glow intensity. So in this case, I'm going to change the glow color, the color A. We'll just change it to, we'll just say uh, blue. So I'm just going to just choose a particular blue. And a common error is that we complain, why isn't it turning blue? It's because our original solid was gray. When your solid is gray, grays don't get affected by these color channels. So you'd have to click on here and click on alpha channel. So now that we actually uh, change it to from color channel to alpha channel, we have some color. I'm gonna change the glow radius here, uh, change the glow intensity. You can you can see it that has some effect here, and this this is nice. So let me just remind you, remember, if your solid is gray, you'll have to change uh, the color channel to alpha channel. Change the color channel to alpha channel to get color. Okay, good to remember that. Now this is not quite as blue as I want, so if you want a richer color, you might want to add a second effect. The effect I'm going to add is called Hue, H-U-E. Double click on Hue Saturation, and I'm going to colorize it. It forces even grays to become a certain color. And let's uh, slide around and get the color we want. So in case you want blue, there's, there's your blue. And the saturation allows you to make it very rich, so you can certainly uh, play, play around with how rich you want that color. Okay, so let's now get this moving and animating. Now if you use a selection tool here and click on it once, you will see that if I click on, uh, you can see these red dots here. There's actually a hide, hiding red dot behind here as well. If you drag it out, you can see there's an energy blast moving there. This is great. We're almost done. So as you look at this mask drop-down box, there's something called mask path. Mask path is the is where it's at. Mask path. This allows you to record uh, the uh, energy blast uh, ray, ray uh, growing. Okay, so let's do that. So this is our starting point, and I'm gonna 
scrub on over to about two seconds. And this is where, um, actually, let's go back, sorry. Don't forget to record mask path. We hit the little stopwatch there. And now that I'm recording, there's a keyframe there. Scrub over to two seconds. And this is where you actually click on this. Oops, press Control Z if you make a mistake. Click off of it and then click on it once until you see those red dots. It means you're on the right path here. And now you can pull it out. So be careful about that. Now if you hold Shift, it moves nicely. Okay, this is good. So I'm going to scrub back and press spacebar, or you can hit the play button here if you wish. And wow, this is great. We have an energy blast. Congratulations. Imagine yourself standing behind here on a lower layer, holding out your hands and destroying evil. Great. It's good to fight evil. Now, now that you've uh, demonstrated that you have a great attention span, now that we're at the six minute mark, I'm going to just uh, give you some more little tidbits here. Now, the thing is that if you uh, make your blast particularly long, I'm going to just uh, keep on dragging here. So I'm going to keep on dragging, dragging, dragging. It's going to get cut off here. You can see that. And that's bad. It looks pretty tacky. So if you want that to go away, I recommend creating your original gray solid per even wider, wider than the uh, than your uh, stage. So if you're dealing with uh, an 800 pixel stage, consider creating a, a solid that's a thousand wide, so therefore you don't run out of space here. Let me press Control Z. Alright, so let me just uh, go back to this animation here. This is before and after. Let me just uh, get back to the way we were before. I'm just going to drag it back here. Uh, finally, uh, let me just uh, click on this keyframe and press delete. So this is the beginning. In the beginning, it was a circle and I'm doing nothing. As I scrub over to two seconds, I'm recording the ma mask path. So this is what I'm going to do. It's quite interesting. So I click off of it. I click on it using the selection tool. I see the red dots. It means I'm on the right track here. I'm going to click and drag. I'm holding shift so it doesn't get all crooked. Hold shift. Now let me show you something excellent here. I'm going to use the pen tool. If I use the pen tool, for example, if I click on here and here two times, look at what kind of interesting shapes I can make. For example, if I uh, if I click on this circle here, you see how it's bending it. Now let me try to make a nice effect here. I'm gonna drag this little circle endpoint, hold shift, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, pull it out a bit. So uh, if I click on this little node and grab an endpoint here, the little circle thingy, hold shift and pull it out a bit, you can see that we've straightened uh, this blast such that it's starting off as a circle and it's straightening it out. Now this looks kind of interesting. Look at the result here. As we're blasting, it actually looks pretty straight. Let me just use a selection tool to click off of it so you can see it better. So as we're blasting, it looks pretty straight. This is, this is a beautiful ray blast. Hope you appreciated this tutorial.